Hey, Jay Clark with Dunlop. Today we're here with Dirt Rider and we're gonna give you some tips on changing a motocross rear tire. First thing we do is remove the, the cap. And on the Honda, they have a little rubber grommet here. You kind of just unscrew it, it'll pull off. Now you're accessible here. With a valve core remover tool, I'm gonna pull out the valve core out of the stem completely. Rather than just let the air out, I'm gonna pull, remove it completely. Gets all the air out of the tire. This thing, next thing to do is remove the uh, rimlock nut, just back it off to where there's just a couple threads holding it on. You want it like about as far as it can go, about right there. So now we want to knock the tire off the bead. And so you simply with a tire spoon, just go, go around, all the way around the tire. We use Motion Pro, tire spoons work well. All the way around. When you get to the rimlock, you can kind of push it in, make sure you're all the way off. So you want to make sure you're all the way off, and then we're going to flip the tire over and do the same thing. kind of pushing down with my left hand here right next to it. Now we're completely off all the way around. So I get a little ways away from the rim lock, about a quarter of the way. I slide down with a good bite, pull, tuck it under under the rear rotor here. Now I want to make sure that the tire is staying off the bead all the way down. Just come over inch and a half or two inches or so away, make my next bite. Really short, short bites here for the first little bit. Pops right out. Then you get to where you can just need one tire spoon. We get to the rim lock, kind of get right on the other side, and we're completely off all the way around. At this point, some people will pull the tube out. If you're scared, you can pull the tube out. It saves you one less chance of you know, pinching a tube. For us, we just flip it over and pull it out all at one time. We'll flip it over like that. Again, start a little ways away from the rim lock. I'm keeping my body kind of against the tire to help me work a little bit. And then I kind of push it with my hip a little bit forward. I got a gap here now to where I can get my tire spoon right in here. I usually just do this in one quick, fast motion, but we just pop it off like so. While it's apart, first thing I do is inspect here, make sure your rim band is fine, rim lock, everything looks good. Anything like, if you have duct tape on here, make sure the spokes aren't poking through. This looks good to go. Okay, so it's a good idea to put a little powder in here, so keep the tube from chafing. So you just drop some in there, and you smell nice and fresh, and just, just spin it around, and it'll make its way all the way around the tire. We have our tube ready to go in here, and we just just kind of stuff it in here, like so. We get our valve stem area. We're gonna put it, reinstall our, reinstall the valve core back into the stem. You want to make sure it's clean and nothing's no debris in there. It'll be leaking on you, nice and good and tight, and that's good to go. Okay, so we put a little, a little bit of air in the tube, and. Everybody kind of wants to know how much you want to do. It doesn't register on a tire gauge if you put a tire gauge on it. So it's just about, just to where it's like, about like this, all the way around the tube. Okay, so we use a tire paste. Um, you can use soapy water. Don't use any lubes like WD-40 or anything. They, they can stay wet and the tire can slip. So this is a good tire paste. Uh, this is from Hunter. Hunter Engineering makes this stuff. We use it, it's used on heavy truck tires, so heavy you know, automotive supply type place. And I think there's some other stuff available uh, in the industry that you can try to get as well. So a good tire paste will work well. And we'll lube that thing really well all the way around. So we have our tube sitting here, so right now we're gonna pull the tube through and kind of keep the tire out of the way. We're gonna, and then we'll worry about getting the tire and the tube good here. We're gonna, I'm just dialing the nut all the way down to about three quarters of the way, about in there. Now, I'm gonna feel underneath, push in here, make sure the tube is inside the tire, of course. I got pressure against the tire. It's all the way on, like so. Keeping pressure with my hip against the tire. Um, I'm gonna grab right here with my hand, also forcing down. 
and, and I'm taking a little bit of pressure off from the back side as I lift up to push in. Here's the rim lock, so I want to get right on the other side of it. Now this, this last one kind of got to push in there. Now I'm in all the way. So now the rim lock's not on. That's the, the tricky part, and we're going to flip it over to show you what to do. So now we're going to pull this tire up, and we're going to hit the rim lock so that it gets under, back under the tire here. So it's pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, you kind of do like that, and you kind of just walk it right over the rim lock, push the rim lock up like this with your thumb, and then drop it down. Rim lock's inside now. Quick and easy. Okay, so now we're going to take two bites, about this far apart, so like three, four inches apart or so. Got a Motion Pro bead buddy. We drop that in there, pull out our spoon. And so we got that, we're ready to go. And I'm a ways away from the rim lock, working my way towards the valve stem here. Pushing down, keeping pressure on the tire. When you get to the rim lock, you want to hold it in with your finger. Take a bite like so. You want to keep, at this point, you want to keep the tire off the bead. Make sure you're doing that. You're staying off the bead all the way around. Over here, you want to just knock it down a little bit. This will be your friend. So on all this, when you're going around, you just want to get the spoon just inside the rim just just a little bit. Now for this these last one, when you can avoid this, you, you want to with your leg pick up a little bit and just work the tire spoon in for this last little bite and then just drop her down. You can also use a hammer to knock down the last little bit. So you pull your tires tire your buddy out like so. We're gonna air up our tire. Of course you want to make sure you didn't mess anything up. You want to make sure the tire pops on the bead, just like this right here, all the way around. So we're all the way on. So we want to flip it over. Inspect this side, make sure we're all the way on the bead. Next we'll tighten the rim lock. You want to tighten the rim lock first while well, it's got plenty of pressure in it. Make sure the tube's not caught in the rim lock or anything like that. Now you want this about Armstrong tight. There's no, you don't want to over tighten it. You can break the rim lock or damage your rim. So now on the Honda here, you take this nut completely off and reinstall the rubber grommet piece that Honda runs to keep the dirt out of the inside of the wheel there, just like that. And then we're gonna set our tire pressure with a good tire pressure gauge. For most motocross or off-road use, we'd be running anywhere from 12 to 15 pounds and it's something you want to check regularly. Set your tire pressure and you're good to go. Hey, so that's it for our Dirt Rider tip on changing a tire. Um, maybe watch it in slow motion, watch it a few times. Practice makes perfect. It's not too difficult uh, if you tackle it a few times.